And more changes for Charlotte Douglas International. This one happening next door. Organizers with the Carolinas Aviation Museum broke ground today to showcase their vision for a new facility. The building, which is more than 100,000 square feet, will sit directly next to the Charlotte International Airport. WCNC Charlotte's Richard Devane has more on how the museum will inspire young people to pursue STEM education and careers. Yeah, good afternoon. This reception is going on here for the uh, groundbreaking of the new aviation museum. I want to tell you why this groundbreaking is so important. Most of the artifacts held by the museum are in that hangar right there, the one that's weathered. The other artifacts, some precious artifacts, are out actually on runways and other areas weathering the storm of time, and they want to get them inside. So that's why this event is so important. Groundbreaking today on the future 105,000 square foot facility, which will be renamed in honor of Captain C.B. Sully Sullenberger, who famously landed that U.S. Airlines Flight 1549 safely in New York City's Hudson River back in 2009. It was a remarkable feat known as the Miracle on the Hudson, and that plane is among over 45 historic aircraft to be featured on the multi-building campuses, which many of these aircrafts are currently crammed into a single hangar that's near Charlotte Douglas Airport. This is why we are so fortunate, incredibly fortunate, to have the business and community leaders here to join us with local and state leaders to address this vital need with this new museum. The multi-building campuses will also include flight simulators, immersive multimedia, interactive exhibits, and STEM education programs, which County Commissioner Vil Malik, who represents District 2 where the museum sits, says makes her overjoyed at what its presence will mean for young minds. I want to say thank you for putting your hearts and your minds into making a difference for those that need it the most. Right now, if you're planning on coming out, guess what? They say they should have this whole project complete by 2023. We're right here in Charlotte. Richard Devane for WCNC Charlotte.